brush up there, long road, half mile up. There was three does right there coming out into this. Right there is where it starts. I've been seeing them right there midday. Middle of the day, they pop out of them cedars. Seen a three bucks down in there yesterday. There's some deer in the corner back there. Looks like the left one might be a buck. Oh yeah, that's a nice buck for sure. That was a nicer one up close too. Are you looking at the one way in the back or the closer one? No, I'm looking at the one that's up in the front. Yeah, that front one's nice for sure. The one in the back might be nice too. Can you see them, Grant, or you want me to film them? You can just you better just film I don't want them to get off this property, so if they start going that way, we're going to intercept them. are they to public there? They're not very far from public right there. I mean, 150 yards maybe, but most of the heavy cover is on public. I mean, if they go through that fence to the north, they'll be in that guy's pasture ground, which is pretty thick. But like where I saw those little bucks bedded at yesterday, you could easily rattle them to public. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were within 75 yards of the fence down there. Those bucks are bristling up. They might fight. It's a nice buck. That one doesn't look like it's that big. Yeah, I might shoot him. Was any of them big? I don't know. I couldn't tell looking through the camera. They just look big because it's all bristled up. Oh, they're up in the thick stuff now. Breeding ground. It's the morning of day four and Got a warmer day today. Grant and Warb have been driving around every morning seeing a bunch of deer. And Ted and I haven't really been having much luck, at least until later into the morning. And nice like, buck right here running across the field. Like this. See him out there, Grant? Yep. It's on public now. Oh, yeah. He's on public right now. Goes. You're gonna go about three miles. You got enough of him, Grant? Yep. Oh, he ain't. <laughs> I bet you he's gonna come in right here. I'm gonna grab my bow and go shoot him out. I'm gonna get you right behind this brush. This is right where those does were at last night. Yeah. 
across. He's going as hard as he can across there. I would too. Got public <laughs> pretty much every direction of him. Yeah, I mean, he's going to end up in it. But like I was saying, we're going to drive around this morning and hopefully run into that situation a couple more times. We've been having pretty slow mornings, aside from the first morning when it was real cold. But we just kind of wanted to get a better grasp on what's going on going into tomorrow because we've got another cold front coming in. And it just seems like we are able to learn a lot more from the vehicle in this open ground out here, kind of similar to North Dakota. But, I mean, as you can see, we still are kind of putting ourselves in the game too. I mean, if you get out in front of a buck like that, you might be able to call him in or decoy him in. So he was just moving way too fast for us. This guy was hunting here last night. This old boy? Buck was headed right for this little swath of cover out here. There he goes. Get him, Grant. He's going to run right in front of us. There's a doe right here to the right. Whoa! Go get her, bud. I mean, that's, that a, deer, that's a rut. That deer literally just ran a mile and a half in like 10 minutes. And that's how fast it can change. Just yep. think if you're the guy sitting down there and I haven't seen anything all morning and a deer comes from a mile and a half away and you shoot him. Yeah, or they just fly by you at <laughs> 30 miles an hour. He's probably one of the bigger ones I've seen so far. He's gonna think we shot one. The right rear is starting to get low again. We might have to go get more air for it here. Down. Seems like he's standing over a doe, probably. Huh? Should we get up here in case he's gonna cross? Bigger than a brick. Well, that was short lived. <laughs> Might as well rattle here, huh? spot where Warb and Grant both scouted and they both came to this little pond here. There's pretty fresh rubs that look pretty big on the other side of it. There's a bunch of buck tracks around it, a bunch of deer tracks in general. And Warb has been driving around this piece quite a bit. And actually where we filmed those bucks right away this morning is on the south end of this piece. But we're just gonna come in here and check this camera that Warb hung a day or two ago. Hung it on the 7th, I think it says. 7th or 8th, so we've got a couple days of intel. Maybe we'll see if anything's on it during daylight. Let's see what we got. Raccoons. Coyote. Dog. Dogs. Decent buck. That's that one we saw this morning. Is it? Yeah. I think we go hunt more up that way tonight, don't you? That picture, that video, that book was at like three in the morning.
set up and we saw all those deer this morning off the road probably 200 yards to my east and they all kind of went into the private land and basically on the map it looks like it's one big bedding area the public land actually looks like it has better thicker habitat and there hasn't been any pressure in here since we've been in here from deer hunters at least it seems like i guess grant saw one guy one morning but he walked out at nine o'clock in the morning so there's been bird hunting going on up in the grass all up front on this piece this is like a secluded bean field back in here that you can't see from any roads and some of those does headed back towards it this morning there's a couple scrapes along the edge of this bean field and there's a good trail it looks like it's coming out 15 yards in front of us and it would make sense for deer to either be cruising the, down through this trail on the downwind side of this bedding area or i can see them coming out on the edge of the field up here and maybe we can call at them if they're not going to come our way seems like movement this morning was to the north so i'd imagine it would be the opposite this evening they'll just be coming back out here if they're cruising the downwind side of this bedding area hopefully they're cruising inside the timber and our wind is just off where they're going to come out of the field here there's an access path just behind us and i guess i just i'm hoping a big buck's not going to walk right down that access path there's definitely a chance that they could but we're banking on them staying into the cover and hopefully coming out and checking some of these scrapes or just walking the edge of this field in front of us. And I got the ski mask bandit behind the camera tonight instead of Ted, so hopefully that's good luck. We need a name for this character if you guys want to help us out. Drop it in the comments what you think this character's name should be. Pod down for the night. That's a full pod down. In our field. Yeah, right here. Big buck, big buck. See him?
was trotting that like somebody does do, like one of them blows. Yeah. He was trotting to the right like he was maybe going to come in, I thought, but I don't know. He just ran a toe off or what. And about do it for day four. Pretty fun night actually for it being 70 degrees today. Had a big flush of deer come out kind of all at once there within 10-15 minutes. One would come out then it'd start looking back and sure enough another one would come out. And a big buck ended up coming out. We were just a little bit off with our setup. All kind of came out. They all kind of came out right in the middle of the field over there and uh, that could be a move we make tomorrow get on that trail over there. It seemed like pretty much every deer except for that little spike came out on one trail. So might get right in the middle of this bedding area tomorrow too. I don't really know exactly what the plan's gonna be yet. But I'm assuming tomorrow's just gonna be a crazy day for movement. These last couple mornings and evenings have been really good. And the high was 70 degrees today. Tomorrow the high is gonna be like 33 degrees. So it's basically a 30 degree temperature drop. Or wait, 40, isn't it? Yeah, Jeez, that's a lot. Need to go back to Grade schools, huh? Yeah, whatever. Might put them into shock. Maybe they won't move at all. I don't know. I'm wearing a t-shirt right now with this mesh ghillie suit. I don't know what I'm going to wear tomorrow. But it's supposed to be windy, too. Yeah, it's supposed, supposed to be, to be like, mile mile. like 30 mile an hour winds, 20, 30 mile an hour winds. So, so pretty good day today. Probably going to want to check out tomorrow's video because I imagine we're going to be seeing some deer. Hopefully I can get one kill. I killed my first buck with a bow 14 years ago on this day. And tomorrow's my birthday, so. Maybe I can get my first birthday buck. Ted found the spike antler that he keeps in his pocket that he had lost for a while. He found it today, he sent me a picture of it, so things are looking up. <laughs>